Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a bunch of different tricks that I do to make my very fine hair look a lot thicker than it actually is. I have three major things that I want to share with you plus a few other tips in the video that hopefully will help you out if you are a thin hair sufferer like myself. Thin hair is unbelievably depressing. I mean, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I know people with thick hair tend to complain that they don't like their thick hair, but trust me, I would give anything in this world to have thicker hair. If I had one wish, I would wish for more hair on my head. So, um, for all my thin hair people out there, you know where I'm coming from, and I'm sure you can understand how draining it is that no matter what you do, your hair will forever remain flat to your head, no life, and just so baby fine that you can't do anything to it. I am by no way affiliated with any of the products that I do mention in this video. These are just my own personal opinions on them and what has worked for me this far that I would like to share with you to let you guys in on my little secrets that I have. So if you would like to see how I get my hair to appear a little bit thicker than it actually is, then please continue watching. For starters, this is my natural hair. I took a shower today. When I am getting out of the shower and my hair is just a little bit damp, what I like to do is I will put some leave-in conditioner in. I find that this does miracles for my hair for untangling it. Uh, I spray a little bit of this into my damp hair and then I comb it out with a wide tooth comb. This particular brand uh, my mom actually got for me. My mom is a hairdresser. So uh, she picked that up for me uh, not too long ago and this is the one I've been using now but any brand really works. I've tried the Tresemme one, the heat protecting one. Um, they're all the same. They, you just spray some in, it's leave-in conditioner and it will detangle your hair for you without the effort. Uh, tip number one would be when you are washing your hair, uh, let it air dry. You want as little heat to touch your hair as possible. So please let it air dry if you can. Uh, what I like to do to give myself a little bit more volume is I will let it air dry and then I'll flip my head over and fluff it with a blow dryer for no more than one minute maximum. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more life. It fluffs it up and when you flip your hair back for 30 seconds you have a bunch of volume and it's probably my favorite moment in the world but I mean, it eventually deflates and I go back to flat hair Katie. So tip number one, blow dry your hair upside down for a couple minutes and you will get a little bit of volume to work with from the get-go. Another thing I have been absolutely in love with since I found it, I've been taking it for about two months now and it has just done wonders to my hair. I mean, the it's made it feel just so much healthier, it's made it look healthier. Despite what it might look like right now, it does give it a little bit more life than what I usually have. Um, but that is biotin. I have been taking one of these a day. It's just a vitamin. You can find it in the vitamin aisle at any grocery store, Walmart, pharmacy, anywhere that sells vitamins really you can find this. It's just the Jameson brand. And uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, if I could marry <laughs> something, I would marry this. Like, bye boyfriend, like I would marry the biotin. Not only does it make your hair thicker, it also helps your nails as well. Um, I've never been able to grow my actual nails out. They always break or they always chip and I just end up cutting them all off. So the strength that I've had in my nails since I started taking biotin, fantastic. Uh, it says on here it converts carbs, proteins, and fats to energy. Um, I don't know how that helps your hair, but it really does. So one of my main secrets, a brand new secret actually that I've just been trying, is to grab yourself a bottle of biotin. I'm just gonna show you quickly what my hairline looks like without any product in it. Um, it doesn't look as thin as it actually is, but all of my hair tied back together is about the circumference of a penny. Remember when pennies used to exist? Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's very, very fine, like I'm sure you, you can tell just by me holding it here just how thin my hair actually is. So I, I do not have a lot of hair and 
I mean, what can you do, right? Even if I put my hair up, like, look at that. Like, you can see my scalp, like, no matter where I part it, no matter what I do with it, like, my scalp is always showing. I always have these, like, bald-looking spots all over the place. Uh, even my hairline goes all the way to the back. Like, let me show you this. This... My hairline goes all the way back there. I mean, your hairline like shouldn't really end that far. I mean, for my hairline to end all the way back there, even from the back you can tell that I have thin hair, so I just wasn't dealt a good deck of cards here. My second tip and my most favorite and excited part that I can't wait to tell you about, this right here is Kabuki and it has changed my life completely. I, I can't even put into words how much I love this product. I'm just reading off of my phone here because I don't know all the details off the top of my head. Um, but Kabuki is a hair fiber and it uses a plant material called Moroccan Gossipium Herbaceum. Did not say that right. I have no idea if I even pronounced half of that word right. Um, it's a plant fiber that carries a negative charge and will cause the concealer to cling to your real hair in a much more reliable fashion. It's unlike other hair fibers that are made from wool. Um, from personal experience, I have tried other hair fibers and none of them are even remotely close to Kabuki. Uh, they would fall out and, and I'd have residue all over my forehead from them. I mean, you couldn't touch them, but it was coming off in your hand. And I've tried a bunch of different ones. I even got some brands from the hair salon uh, supply store and even that didn't even stand up to my main man, Kabuki. Um, the dispensers are full of millions of tiny microfibers that cling to your real hair. This has the effect of making you appear like you have more hair than you actually have. I'm gonna show you how I apply Kabuki. It takes all of maybe 10 seconds start to finish to apply. And oh my God, it will change your life. I start with my hairline. I mean, it doesn't really matter where I start with. Uh, I kind of just throw it everywhere because no matter where I part my hair, I want it all to be concealed. Basically like a pepper shaker and you actually just shake the hair fibers into your hair. And just like that, I have completely concealed my hairline um, and, and it's not coming out. Touch this stuff and it doesn't come off on your hand. Um, what they do recommend is locking it in with a little bit of hairspray at the end just to make sure that you don't have any flyaways. But other than that, I mean, they cling to the hair that you already have and it completely conceals your hairline. Sometimes if I go a little overboard and I want to reveal a bit of my hairline to, you know, still look human. You just, you just kind of rub it a little bit and it'll show some of your hairline. I mean, it's whatever you prefer and then you can still get that going. When I apply it, I like to apply it everywhere. So I will take my hair and I just kind of part it in different directions and I just go to town with the kabuki and you know, no matter what way the wind blows or, you know, no matter what, if I change my hairstyle throughout the day, it's it's concealed. And I mean, it does, it's not messy at all whatsoever. I get a little bit on this side. I just, I go to town with it. Uh, sometimes I get a little closer to my hairline. I just take my hand to prevent it from going on my face. And I put a little bit right there. And I mean, it, it hides everything and Oh my god, I just love it so much. So once I have the kabuki in, I pretty much just go through and I brush it back a little bit. It just kind of gives it a natural looking feel. So now that I have the kabuki in my hair, tip number three is to go in with a little bit of eyeshadow and conceal the front hairline just to make it appear not so five head going on. Not only do I have thin hair, I have a pretty big forehead, which doesn't help with the overall look of my thin hair, so the eyeshadow really helps to kind of tie that all in, create a smaller looking forehead, and shape my hairline the way that I want it to be shaped. So what I do, um, and I found that on the Chocolate Bar palette from Too Faced, 
I go in with the dark brown color up here. I forget the name of the actual eyeshadow. I got rid of the little paper. But it's the top brown one up here. Uh, I find it matches my hair pretty good at the moment. Any brown eyeshadow will work. If you have blonde hair, I'd probably recommend doing a light brown, uh, depending on how your hairline is or what hair you have shine showing through. If you have roots, obviously match it to your roots, but if you do have platinum blonde hair, um, your best bet would be to go with a very light brown. So what I do is I take a little bit of the brown from the Too Faced palette, I lift my head up and, or sorry, I lift my hair up and I just fill in the baby hairs at the front of my head just to make it look a little more flush. And that's pretty much it. I just kind of fan it out with my finger a little bit if it does look a little patchy or a little square. Um, and then yeah, that's pretty much all the concealing that I do. So to give my hair volume, uh, I then would put in my extensions. Right now I'm using the Bellamy extensions. Oh my god, you guys, these are phenomenal. I've never loved I know I've said, <laughs> I've said this like three times, but oh my gosh, they are amazing. I mean, look at the thickness of them at the bottom. Um, I have a little confession. I did order the 24 inch, I believe, or the 22 inch, might even be 27. I don't know, I'll put all the details on the bottom, but I, um, I bought them and they were crazy long, like, wow, you got a lot of hair but I mean it went down like to my stomach and it was just too much hair so I cut them myself. As you can tell, um, I'm not a hairdresser and I didn't really do that good of a job um, cutting them. <laughs> but I still need to get them trimmed and layered a little bit. I've just been slacking really hard on that. So yeah, I just pop these bad boys in and then we are good to go. Once the extensions are in, I mean, whoo, look at that, I have, oh my god, if only I had this much hair. And this is only two tracks from the Bellamy's, uh, I think it came with five more, I don't even know how many it comes with, but it comes with a lot more hair than this, but for me, uh, if I'm leaving my hair straight, I find that two um, tracks of hair is more than enough, uh, any more I think it would start to look a little bit unrealistic. Uh, so I just stick to two tracks if I'm leaving my hair straight. Disclaimer, I do have naturally straight hair. Uh, as you can see, I this is just freshly washed hair. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't straighten it, nothing. Um, I have naturally pin straight hair. I hate it, <laughs> but I've been told that there's much worse out there, so... I mean, I'm thankful for what I have, but would I prefer to have curlier, more volumized hair? Yes. Uh, sometimes I do go in with a straightener and just straighten out these top pieces right here and kind of flip my hair to the side. So it creates kind of a swoop, but for the purposes of this video and the fact that my camera battery is almost running out, I'm just gonna leave it as is. So once I have the extensions in, I just kind of give them a little bit of a brushing. And then my final step is to just go in and tease a little bit um, just to give it a bit more volume on the top. To tease, I use my favorite Sephora comb. Okay, now that I have all the top layer teased, I just gently, gently brush over it. And then lastly, because I do have fine hair, 
I just like to kind of brush my bangs to the front and hairspray them so they stay in place. I'll show you. And that is pretty much it. That is my kind of quick and easy uh, routine that I do to make my hair appear thicker than it actually is. Yeah, if you like the video, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Makeup by Katie Marie, and I will link all the details below. Uh, any products that I used will be linked below as well. Other than that, I bid you adieu. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.